everybody. I wanted to share with you today about a few of my very, very favorite Usborne books and Kay Miller books. I get asked that question a lot. What's your favorite book? Well, with a couple thousand titles in our catalog, it really is hard to choose. And so even though I'm going to point out some of my favorites, I could probably give you about a million others that I consider my favorite books. Um, I don't even have some of my favorite lines in this selection right here. So um, I'm just going to take you through a couple that I really love. Right here you have our Secrets of the Seashore, which is from our Shine a Light series. And I adore the Shine a Light series. If you see these books, you're automatically hooked because they're so unique. If you've never seen them before, let me show you a little bit about them. This is Secrets of the Seashore. So um, you read through the book, but what you need to have on hand when you do this is a flashlight or some sort of light that you can shine behind the page. And Dummy Me didn't, doesn't have one, but if you take a flashlight and you shine it behind each of these pages, you're going to see the image that's going to be on the page when you turn it but you'll get to see it through that page. So this is a fish and starfish and some different things. You'll be able to see it right there. And it is just a phenomenal thing. And um, the information in these books is actually phenomenal. So you're learning and it's neat and it's different. Great for camping, um, great for summertime books. We've got um, Secrets of the Seashore, Secrets of the Apple Tree, Secrets of the Rainforest. And then um, we also have a new one, which is Secrets of, or not Secrets, it's just called Construction Site, and it's a Shine a Light. And then also uh, Train Shine a Light. And so these are just phenomenal. Secrets of the Seashore is my favorite, maybe because it's summer right now. So another one of our favorites is the Muddle and Match series. Um, right now we've got Muddle and Match Imagine, Muddle and Match Jungle Animals, Muddle and Match Adventure, and Muddle and Match Monsters is a new one. But these books are just so colorful and so fun. Um, they're definitely tongue twisters, so be prepared. Um, a little, kind of a little Dr. Seuss action up in here with the Muddle and Match series. Um, but what you can do is you can turn them all at once and read the story. So Patrick the Playful Parrot pretends to be a powerful pirate paddling the precarious Pacific. Great vocabulary, some words that you would rarely see in children's books, like precarious. What a wonderful word, I just love that. Um, but what's really neat about this is not only can you just read the page as it is, but you can flip different parts of it and make a totally different little story. So here we have Barbara, the beautiful beetle, pretends to be a powerful pirate to give a gift to Jeffrey, the grasshopper. So that that is uh, just a really fun series. I find that uh, really little ones love it and bigger ones love it too. Um, so that's great. Now, one of our very favorite things is the Complete Book of Farmyard Tales. And um, this is actually our family copy, um, which remember, you can get uh, a new copy for 50% off. That's the Usborne warranty. And so that's a really wonderful thing. Um, but <laughs> obviously we need to because someone tried to carry it by her uh, bookmark. That's what my daughter did. Um, but this comes with a CD. It's the complete book of Farmer Tales, and it tells the adventures of Mrs. Boot the Farmer, Poppy Sam, um, her children, and uh, just all their adventures on the farm. It's a great first reading book, really excellent. And uh, my daughter asks to listen to it in the car way too much, <laughs> but we love it. So uh, that is the complete book of Farmer Tales. Um, another really wonderful thing is this one right here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I want to knock my whole stack down, but 1001 uh, Bugs to Spot. Now, this series, uh, there's 1001 um, fairy princesses, and there's 1001 uh, things to spot on a trip, and I, there's just a whole series of these. The one I have here is the 1001 Bugs to Spot. And this is a great activity that you can do with your children. Um, really, uh, it's fun to sit and just look at this book, and you learn about this one in particular, I learned insects that I didn't even know about. Like, um, let me see, this page, of course, I turned to the page where I know all of them. Um, but like a, a helicopter damselfly. Like, I think I've seen that, but I didn't know what it was. So what's great about a lot of um, Osborne books is that you learn right along with your child. And uh, so those are a few of our very favorites. And, um, 
If you have a favorite Usborne book, I'd love to hear about it. 